Hello champions and welcome to my channel The Cambridge Guru. In this video, we will talk about the recommended book for 5090 that is Cambridge O Level Biology. You know that there are different books being taught in different schools, but there is one recommended book by the Cambridge International Education System itself for Cambridge O-Level Biology exams, which is the course code 5090. So here is the web address where you can actually find this recommendation by the Cambridge uh, International Education System. And I will paste the link of this particular website in the description of this video so that you can also follow this yourself so by the cambridge the recommended book for 5090 cambridge o-level biology is this and it is called hotter cambridge o-level biology students book and it looks like the cover page looks like this okay and it supports the full syllabus for examination from 2023 and this book is I'm repeating this again is recommended by the Cambridge education system themselves okay and the published date of the latest book the most recent book is 2021 I will in a minute also show you uh, the cover page of the book and the syllabus of the book and we are in this channel we are going to upload all the chapters from this particular book to cover the whole Cambridge O-level biology system so stay tuned subscribe the channel and share the channel with your friends and colleagues and uh, I will now show you how the book looks like so I will move on to this page here so this is the cover page of the book let me zoom it out so this is how the book looks like on the cover page okay it's called Cambridge O level biology by DG McCann and Dave Howard and this is recommended by the Cambridge International Education System okay so that's the cover page and if you are purchasing the book or if you are reading the book from any source it is important that you look at the publication date which is on the next page and the publication date is 2021 this is the sign and indication that this is the latest version of the book please note that you don't have to read any older version so all the older versions is a big no no you only have to study from the latest uh, publication book okay you don't have to follow the old book just uh, put the old book in the garbage latest book because it covers the latest syllabus and all the exam questions will be from this and this recommended resource only now if we move ahead to this book and look at the table of contents the first chapter of the book belongs to cells it talks about cell structure cell organization tissues organs organ system and the organism size of specimens as well we will study all these chapters one by one so for example i will make videos on chapter number one then videos on chapter number two three four so there are total of uh, 18 chapters in this book that we have to cover for the Cambridge O-Level Biology course, okay? So the first chapter is cells. The second chapter in this book belongs to classifications. The third chapter, as you can see, is movement into and out of the cells, which is diffusion, osmosis, active and passive transport. The fourth is biological molecules. Fifth is enzymes, plant nutrition, transport in flowering plants, human nutrition which includes the digestive system and then human gas exchange and respiration which is kind of two chapters which have the similar spectrum related to your respiratory system so how you take uh, air into your body and use oxygen and then release carbon dioxide so respiratory system uh, is also in this book then we have transport in humans how little molecules even big molecules circulate throughout the body in your blood so uh, heart circulatory system blood vessels and blood is all that we will be studying then diseases and immunity how you get viral infections bacterial infections which are called pathogens how they are transmitted and how can you i mean protect your body against these infections then the excretory system coordination and control 
uh, coordination and response in plants as well then development of organisms which is what we call embryology so a little bit about embryology as well we will study from this book and then inheritance how do we get genes and dna from our parents so parents a father and a mother and then the children so genes from the father and mother can transmit into the offspring inheritance we will study about this and then the last chapter will be biotechnology and genetic modification which is the latest field in uh, scientific discipline okay so these are total 18 chapters in this channel what i will do is i will start the next video uh, starting from the chapter number one we will talk about uh, different headings in the chapter and i will show you the book so this is the book that we will follow and topic by topic page by page we will master this book so we will finish this book completely this is this is the target uh, that we have to finish this recommended resource for 5090 biology on this particular youtube channel so that you master this book okay and if you correlate all the chapters with the O level biology curriculum so here is the recommended curriculum which is again downloaded from the Cambridge International website so it is available officially on the website I will post the link in the description so that you can also go to the web page and download this resource this is a PDF file and if you look at the PDF file it says Cambridge assessment international education syllabus for Cambridge O level biology 5090 and this is for those who are appearing in exam during 2023 20, 24 and 25 okay so if we now move on to what is the recommended course outline and i have a separate video for that so you can go and browse the video in my playlist so there are total 19 different headings that we have to complete for our o levels exam and heading number one is cells you remember chapter number one here was cells so if you study cells from this recommended book you are good for this particular part of the syllabus then the second heading in the recommended syllabus is classification and second chapter here is classification if you see the third heading here is movement into and out of the cells here we have movement into and out of the cells so basically this book that we are going to start uh, is exactly equivalent to cover this whole syllabus recommended by Cambridge so if you prepare all these 19 18 19 headings and you complete this book you will be going to score very good grades in your Cambridge exam so all the very best stay tuned with the channel this is the recommended book to follow we will make videos on all these chapters and this will be going to be a free resource for you to learn so all the very best uh, keep subscribing the channel share the video with your friends and uh, stay tuned for more videos